Hello everybody, I hope you all are doing well. So today in this video we will be covering the A-level sociology syllabus. So I've already covered four chapters for O-level and I've also explained the O-level sociology syllabus. So I thought that I might also cover A-level sociology syllabus entertaining to the request that people have asked me to cover A-level sociology syllabus as well. And I'll just begin with the syllabus and let's get started. Okay, so there are four papers in your A-level sociology and there are a number of topics that you need to cover. So for paper 1, paper 2, paper 3 and paper 4, I'll be going through each of the papers in more detail. So let's just start with paper 1. So previously we had only three papers but now they've divided sociology into the AS and A-level syllabus. So paper 1 and paper 2 will count as your AS syllabus and paper 3 and paper 4 will count as your A-level syllabus. Okay, so starting with paper 1. So in paper 1, total time that you have is 1 hour and 30 minutes. The chapters that need to be covered and these both and both these chapters are compulsory you need to cover both these chapters right so there is no choice in that obviously the examiner has given you choice in the questions that you can attempt so um, there is chapter one that socialization and identity it's the creation of social identity and chapter two is the methods of research right okay so moving on to what does the what is the paper comprise of i've also um place the copy of the paper in the next slide and I'll show you that. So the paper comprises of section A and section B. In section A you have all compulsory questions and okay so the questions that need to be covered in paper one there is a four mark question, there is an eight mark question, a six mark question and so in section A you have three questions. You have three questions and two of these questions are a set of questions. So Question number one is a four mark question. Question number two is an eight and six mark question. And question number three is a ten and six mark question, right? And in section B, you are given two questions from which you have to choose one. So each of the questions are for 26 marks and you have to choose one and attempt one 26 marks question, right? Which makes up a total of 60 marks. So your paper one is for 60 marks, right? Okay, so moving on to our paper 2. So in paper 2, the total time that you get is 1 hour and 30 minutes. And the chapter is the, I've written chapter or chapter. So this is going to be entirely focused. This paper is going to be entirely focused on one chapter, which is the family chapter, right? And uh, it's going to be, it's, it's the similar, there's a, it's a similar pattern as you see in paper 1. So there's going to be a section A with all the compulsory questions. So the compulsory questions include a set of 4, 8, 6 and 10 and 6. So there's going to be question number 1 of 4 marks, question number 2 which is divided into two parts is of 8 marks and 6 marks and question number 3 uh, which is of 10 and 6 marks, right? Uh, this is going to, yeah, so this is your sec section A and you need to attempt all those questions. And then you have section B which basically includes two 26 marks questions and you have to attempt one out of that. And yeah, so there is one 26 mark question and section A with all the compulsory questions which again makes up a total of 60 marks, right? So in paper 2, is uh, the marks are similar as paper 1, time is similar as paper 1 but the chapters are obviously different. Okay, so right, so moving on to our paper 3. So in paper 3, the total time that you get to attempt the paper is 1 hour and 15 minutes. And the chapter that needs to be covered is the, is the chapter of only education. So where paper 2 was only focusing on the chapter of family, paper 3 is going to only focus on the chapter of education. So there's going to be an in-depth study about the, about, about basically pertaining to the chapter of education right and the paper consists of there is no section there are all compulsory questions right so there's going to be a four mark question an eight mark question a 12 mark question and a 26 mark question right and the time that you get is one hour and 15 minutes and i'm showing you the paper over here right so you can see the paper there's a four mark eight mark 12 mark and a 26 mark question and now moving on to our last paper which is and uh, before moving on to the last paper I just want you to let I want everybody to know that paper 3 and paper 4 are your A level papers so they're not your AS papers these are papers that count towards your A level so people basically break they don't give four papers in one attempt so basically they give a paper 1 and paper 2 at the end of 
A1 and then paper 3 and paper 4 at the end of A2. Or you can do like at the end of A2, you can give paper 1, 2, 3 and 4 together. So in paper 4, the total time that you get is 1 hour and 45 minutes. minutes. The chapters that need to be covered are globalization, media and religion. And um, the thing about paper 4 is that, that you get 3 sections, right? So from each section, for example, from globalization, you will get 235 mark questions. And from media, likewise, you'll get 235 marks question. And from religion, likewise, you'll get 235 marks question. But what the examiner has given you, uh, what, what the examiner has told you, or the choice, where does the choice part come in? Out of all these total six questions, so you only have to attempt two questions, right? And these two questions must be from a different section, right? So, for example, you attempt one media question, you attempt question number three, and then you say, oh, I want to attempt question number four. No, you only can attempt one question from one section, right? So, that, for example, you attempt question number three from medium, then you must, then you have to attempt uh, another question from either the section of globalization or from the section of religion, right? So, the trick is that you can leave one chapter, for example, you leave religion and you say that I'm only going to cover globalization and media. And out of these four questions, I'm going to attempt two, each from a different section. So you have the choice of leaving one chapter and you also have the choice of, um, from four questions, you have the choice that you can leave two, right? These are all the papers that consist of A-level syllabus. There's paper, paper one, paper two, paper three and paper four. And yeah, so if you have any questions, you can obviously, you can always comment down below and ask me. And yeah, so I will be covering, I'll start, I'm, I'm reviewing the slides, I'm trying to make the slides, I will be covering the chapter of theories and methods as soon as, as soon, as soon as possible. And I'll be delivering that. Um, and I'll be posting that to YouTube. So please stay tuned and thank you and please subscribe to my channel. That would mean a lot. I always say that it's not, I'm not saying that in vain. It's not something that is hanging in the air. It's something that I mean a lot. Um, it's something that, um, every, every creator on YouTube says that because, uh, they put a lot of effort, um, while making these videos, right? So if you want those series and do subscribe and please let me know because your responses compel me to force me to make those videos right so thank you so much for listening and goodbye and take care